On this Divine Mercy Sunday, we turn our attention to the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 31, to reflect on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. This passage recounts the appearance of the resurrected Jesus, to his disciples and his subsequent encounter with Doubting Thomas. The passage begins with the disciples huddled together in a locked room, still reeling from the traumatic events of Jesus' crucifixion. They were undoubtedly filled with fear and confusion, unsure of what the future held for them. But then, Jesus appeared to them, offering them peace and reassurance with his presence. We can only imagine the joy and relief, that the disciples must have felt at that moment. They had seen their beloved teacher and friend, tortured and killed, and now he was standing before them, alive and well. Jesus' first words to his disciples were, Peace be with you. These words are not just a greeting, but a powerful statement, of love and compassion. They remind us that, no matter what we may be going through in life, we can always turn to Jesus, for comfort and guidance. His love is always with us, even in the darkest moments. But the passage does not end with this initial encounter. A week later, when the disciples were once again gathered together, Thomas expressed his doubts and demanded tangible proof of Jesus' resurrection. And once again, Jesus appeared to them, lovingly inviting Thomas to touch his wounds and to believe. It is this interaction between Jesus and Thomas that is particularly striking. Instead of rebuking Thomas for his doubts, or dismissing him as unworthy of belief, Jesus met him where he was and offered him the evidence he needed to believe. This is a powerful message of love and compassion. It reminds us that no matter how far we may have strayed or how many doubts we may have, Jesus is always ready to welcome us back into his loving embrace. As we celebrate Divine Mercy Sunday, we are reminded of the infinite compassion and mercy of our Lord. He does not turn his back on us when we are weak or doubting, but rather extends his love and forgiveness to us, just as he did to his disciples. Let us take comfort in the knowledge that, our God is a God of infinite compassion and mercy, always ready to welcome us back into his loving embrace, no matter how far we may have strayed. Let us open our hearts to his love and allow his mercy to transform us, filling us with hope and joy even in the midst of our struggles and doubts. In conclusion, let us take a moment to reflect on the message of divine mercy that is woven throughout this passage. Let us be reminded of Jesus' infinite love and compassion, and let us turn to him in our times of need, trusting in his guidance and grace. May we be filled with a sense of peace and hope, as we continue on our journey of faith, always seeking to draw closer to the heart of our loving God.